gunshots in two different areas. That's the wake-up call residents of Augustown experienced on Friday. Um, so to wake up to this news on a Friday morning, on any morning, um, you can imagine how traumatized the people must be. And this has been going on for some time now. I mean, throughout 2018, throughout 2017, we got a little reprieve in 2016. But um, the gangs are back at it, fighting. There are some internal wars between the gangs. I mean, obviously, they have access to guns, high-powered guns. Um, you know, despite all the social intervention, despite the talks, this, despite the, the, the many walks we've had here, um, these gangs are determined to do whatever it is that they want to do, you know, whatever they wake up and feel that they have to do. And it's the law-abiding citizens that, that, that you know, have to take the hurt that, that comes with this. Frontline News understands that police have since heightened their presence in the area. They are appealing to residents to remain calm as they work to restore order in the community. Reports are that after 5 a.m., gunshots rang out on Augustown Road. The police were summoned, and upon their arrival, 36 spent shells were found. Reports are that about 5.35 a.m., a team was processing a murder scene at Princess Alice Drive, Kingston 7. While at the scene, they were alerted to another shooting on Barrett Drive, also in Kingston 7, where two persons were shot about 8.35 a.m. Dead are Caroline Dunwell and one man whose alias is Dogmouth. The third man remains in critical condition at the hospital. A resident of the area spoke to Frontline News after the morning's incidents. It affects me real bad because Carly, I'm afraid I can't believe it. When I get the phone call, this man, my ear says somebody else dead. And then it did tragedy and everything. But when my ear say a car lie dead, I could handle it at all. I feel it. Speculations are that both incidents are acts of reprisal. Member of Parliament Favel Williams says she has committed herself to working with the community to control the upsurge in violence happening in August Town. This in addition to the many calls from residents for a zone of special operations ZOZO to be implemented in the area. They've seen that it's effective in those communities in which it has been operating. I would fully support or I fully support the call for that. And um, I know that, that August Town is one of the communities that's before the Prime Minister because I wrote a letter to him. Uh, you know, in response to the calls from the residents. And given what's happening here again today, uh, you know, it, it, it can't come too soon. Assistant Commissioner Devon Watkiss, in charge of Area 4 headquarters, explained the immediate plans. Zozo is an option, but there are many other options. Zozo are, are determined by the willing cooperation of the citizens too. So whilst the crime is an influence, Zozo and the implementation of public state of emergency are all his options. But the high command and the governance structure in place have a system of conducting evaluation to make those determinations. I am one of the implementers, so we are guided and we contribute to that which influences NSO's decision. Police theorized that the shooting stemmed from an ongoing gang feud in the area. We'll be recalibrating, we'll be reviewing, and to determine how best to deal with this issue. But I want to make an appeal to the people, the guys who are engaged in their gang and gang activity, to cease and desist, because we will retain the right to treat with each situation as it demands, including implementing all elements of the law against these persons. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.